Hello viewer and welcome back to Games with Dialogue plays Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. This is episode 69. Today, the third DLC, the Forgotten Sanctum, released, but I'm not quite ready to go there just yet. I've got two major things left to do, one of which is head back to Nekataka and finish that Kuwana faction quest. So let's dive in and get those out of the way. And then hit that DLC. I think I'm ready to go. Unlike the Beast of Winter, I think I'm high enough level to take it on immediately. <sighs> but I gotta finish this and this to get this Undiscovered Island set in stone. Hopefully that's all the cartographer needs. And then it's back to Nekataka. You smell them before you see them. Lagafeth corpses litter the area. Some are burned beyond recognition, while others have been crushed so badly they're little more than a greasy smear on the ground. Search the area? Hide the under... Search the area. Oh, crap. I forgot it. Oh, okay. Um... Well, it's gotta be Vex, right? Come on. You catch a flash of movement in your peripheral vision. You realize a large party of Legafeth lie in wait for you in the surrounding jungle. No doubt they seek revenge for their fallen friends. The Legafeth let out in its ululating, undulating. The Legafeth let out an ululating cry and charge towards you. Oh man! How oh, unnecessary combat! Just eat up my time. Okay. I thought maybe for a second there we were going to be able to go do some diplomacy, but I guess not. I guess I have to slaughter them all like animals. Um, Keyleth, why don't you hit them with a lightning? Is she? No. No. That is only Gilmore, who's got the chain lightning, I guess. Pike... You're using your ranged... Yeah, alright, she's... Hurt my she's got a ranged weapon. Actually, you know what? Let's cast that defensive ability. Ah, uh, he's used it already. Okay. Um... We'll wait for the time being, and we will wait for the time being. Come on, come on, cast it faster, faster, faster! Oh well, get in there. And... Yeah, get in there. The bear. I uh, trinket. Of the queen. Uh, the stag can go around to the back, I think. And... Hmm... Final flame? I'll, I'll put that over here at these guys. Have some of this! Wait, you were going in the right direction. Why did you stop? Oh, that worked. Fantastic. Get over there, you two. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, these guys are just weaker than me. It's not even... It's not even a challenge. That's just... You're in my way at this point. Uh, I think that's everything? I don't see anything else, and it's just a regular one of those maps. Let's get out of here. Oh, everybody. I need everybody moving. Anything? No? So we don't even get to discover what killed the... What creature is stalking the Legafeth? I guess I missed my chance. I only get one shot at discovering what it was, and I fought the Legafeth instead. Okay, onward to the ruins of the roost. Ah, fingers crossed this isn't a dragon when it says roost. Several corpses lie strewn across the entrance to the ruins in broken, boneless heaps. Blood dashes on the ground is bright red. Still fresh. They must have died recently. Well, we're going to enter the ruins. Of course we're going to enter the ruins. 
Okay. Um, well, we're gonna stealth. And then we're just gonna... Might as well head this way, since there's the dead end here. Vines from the vanguard of the jungle's effort to reclaim this temple. Form the vanguard. Ah. I mixed around the O and the R. Oh, well. Uh, more... Oh, well, no. I thought that was a Legofath. It's an imp. Um, does that mean somebody's doing some summoning experiments here that they should not be? Eh, we're just gonna fight the imp. It'll probably fall oh, as easily... Like that. Yep. As easily as everything else here did. Yeah, not even a challenge. This is mostly just about exploration at this point. Uh, let's see. Let's open up. Our attack. Not useful. Okay. What is that? Void Seer. You're here to take the Book of Storms from me. I know it. Ugh. Who are you? The woman's hair is a mess, her clothes ragged, her face is haggard with exhaustion. You can't have it. It's mine. Mine! She glares at you with narrowed, untrusting eyes and gritted teeth. Is that... Arcana. Alright. I don't even know what the Book of Storms is, or who you are. Book of Storms is a myth. Only a fool would seek it out. Attack, give me the book. Uh, let's do... this one. Number two. Arcana didn't believe it was real either. He told me I was mad, but I have proof. I'll show him. Oh, snap. Was was Arkhamir going to send me here after... D oh, if I had returned the information to the lighthouse, was he going to send me here to deal with her? Oh, dang it. Did I sequence break this again? I won't let you steal it from me. It's mine. I found it. He turns to her minions and gestures wildly at you. Kill the intruders. All right, well... No peaceful resolution for somebody who's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, ironclad Construct. I'll let Trinket deal with him. Well, I'm already engaged. I guess that's... Uh, I want Vax. Hmm. I want Vax to... Can he get close to her? From there? Can he do that? I hope so. Let's see. Ike, hit us with your defense again. And we'll do... You know what? I'm gonna do that again over on this side so it can immediately start attacking them. There we go. Then attack her, please, and use... Uh, ring the bell. Sure. Oh, I see. Somebody summoned... Okay. Well, Pike can deal with that. I'll just switch her over to the sword, and I'll switch her to the staff. And that'll do. And the fi oh, the flame stag can deal way. with the caster. Target destroyed Vax. Fantastic. So we'll then do the Void Seer, I think. Uh, are you two still stuck on her? Yeah. All right. Stuck. It's fine. Go for the eyes, tree. Oh, did that hurt? Hmm. It paralyzed me. That's not helpful. All right. Can I get? Can I do this? No, it only. Crush. That's what I'm looking for. We'll do some crush damage on these two. I'll switch you back to the scepter and have you. What am I gonna do? Um. What about heal? Wood skin? Eh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. This is getting us nowhere. Come on, Keyleth. I really wish I could help with that. Yeah, the problem is I can't get around them. And there's nothing I can do until he's dead. Crap. I can't move him. Hmm. Can I destroy this thing, though? 
with my priest ability. I've got an I can! Fantastic. And it's an AoE. So that got rid of two of them. Okay. That got rid of two of them. Oh, wait. Is the book... How did you... Where did you come from? There's gotta be the book, right? He just appeared out of thin air. Okay. Let's, um... Okay, time to loot. Let's make sure everybody's selected. I'll see too. There we go. Uh, exceptional robe, rod, book of storms, the grimoire. Uh, she's got. Well, the bounding missiles is all right. Dimensional shift. Uh, not. Uh, I mean, this killing bolt is nice, and that was on the grimoire that. Hmm. Not a whole lot that I... These last two spells are nice, and I might select them but with Gilmore, but I don't think so. And then the Book of Storms, which is a bunch of spells as well. This is nice. Enchanted Armory? Enchanted Weapons in the Caster's Hands and a Brilliant Arcane Breastplate. Oh, well. Okay. Hmm. Martial Power? Caster temporarily sacrifices arcane power for martial might. The wizard gains bonuses to deflection and accuracy, as well as strong blah blah blah, but becomes unable to cast spells. Turning him into a melee attacker then. Not really useful. I think this is something more that I'll sell than I'll keep. But that's all of that. Um, Get that in the back. And... This right here. And then right. let's go loot this thing. I need the bear to move. Drink it. Huh? Thank you. How did I... Where... I see it changing... All right. Right there. Right there. Maybe if I move over. It's right there. I can... There we go. Do. Harmony. Plus one resolve. Grants commitment. And there's a problem there. Okay. Not set to an instance of an object. Yeah. All right. Well, there's a problem. Hmm. Propose. She says... Yes, I think. Kind of hard to tell with the body language whether or not that was a yes. And Lover's Bond, which does... You and an ally you choose to bond with become immune to intellect afflictions until the end of combat. Okay, maybe that's good. Maybe I'll pick that up. Maybe I'll wear that. I mean, I already picked it up. <clears throat> I already picked it up. You mean like this? Yes, I do. And Amira's Wing, uh, which does... It's a rod two-handed, so that's good. Superb only. Well, I guess you can't win them all. Hylian Squall. Bring forth a rush of gusting wind, crush, pushing, and reduce stride. Okay. Dang it. Wilting wind. A parching wind blows across the battlefield. Raw damage. Leave them weakened. Okay, not bad. I can definitely find a use for that. Yeah, all right. It's it's a good one, but it's better in the hands of somebody else. All right. Uh, I th is that it? Nope. There was one room back here I missed. Come on, come on. There we go. And that's just a regular rod. Perfect. Fine. All right. Is that it? Shrine of Hylia. Well, how come I couldn't do anything here other than... Can I... Nope. Nope. I can't do anything else. Alright. Well. I guess this island was devoted to Hylia, like uh, the one we found for Whale. And Wodaka. So, if we get to name it, what are we going to call it? Oh, good. Okay. Return to Sansa, the cartographer. Excellent. Uh, we'll call this, um... 
We'll call this island the Roosting Island. Sure. It's it's Hylia's, right? I mean, not it's the island doesn't belong to Hylia, but there was definitely a shrine to her here, so let's just go full bore with it. All right, so I actually do get to go to Nekataka this episode. I was worried that I would have to stretch that out. Not stretch, but I wouldn't be able to make it back this episode. I want to be sure now about the cartographer. If I can find it. Uh, courier's calling? No, I didn't care about that. Lantern of Guan, didn't care about that. Return to Sansa. I have filled in the southwestern quadrant of the map. Queen's birth in Nekataka. Excellent. Fantastic. Let's head back to Nekataka. I want to make sure I'm not missing any. Rock Stomper Road Duel is a bounty I need to take care of. Anybody else? No. No. Maybe the shark. But other than that, nope. Let's go. We're heading back. Faster. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not... Oh, I wanted to land on that island. It's a two skull, though. Maybe they... Maybe I better not. The dead fire sea is calm, and the biscuit cuts smoothly across its surface, gulls trailing in the craft's wake. At the wheel, a many whistles quietly to herself. Bedwall and Oswald stand near the starboard rail. Quietly discussing the safest course for your destination. Uh, approach the rail. Whistle along with a many. Uh, why don't we talk to a many? Many grins, whistling a bit more loudly, and picks up the pace of the tune. The breeze tugs at your clothes as the salt-laced air shifts. A long gray line streaks, stretches across the horizon. It seems to shimmer like the air on a hot day. Uh-oh. Bedell's nose wrinkles as the sailor stares into the distance. No storm that too low and growing too fast. Quiet rumble rolls across the sea as the line grows. A massive swell of water barreling towards the biscuit. Great. Fantastic. Get everyone below decks. Batten down the hatches. We're lying a hole. What is this? Helmsman or helmsman. Alright, well, I'm sure our helmsman can handle either of these. Bring us about. I think we're big enough to go straight over that wave. Keep it an angle to that big guy. Don't let us roll it. Uh, let's do that one. Number three. Oh, great. Despite the crew's efforts, the wave continues to rise to one side of the ship, even as it vanishes from the other. The deck's angle moves ever nearer vertical. Whether the ship breaks through the waves or the wave breaks over it, the result is the same. Thousands of gallons of water slamming across the hull with wood-rending force. Ha! Ah, nine more damage on top of what we've already suffered. The swell moves past, leaving the sea heaving in its wake. As the biscuit steadies, you regain your feet and take stock of the damage. And then he clings to the wheel like it might try to fly away. What the good God's name was that? Bedol groans from behind a cargo crate that pinned the poor dude to the hull. The crew moved to bind the mariner, mariner's wounds. Well, that's a good name for mariner's wounds. I gotta try to remember that. That's a good name. Oswald frowns out across the calming sea. Came from the southwestern dead fire, Captain. Round to Tikiwara, if I had to guess. Or the Black Isles. Maybe there was an eruption or a quake or something. Hmm. The biscuit sails on. The Black Isles. Have I... Let's check that out. Now, Tikiwara is over here. So the Black Isles must be in this part. Hmm. Must be in this part that I haven't explored. Uh, that's my best guess. All right, let's continue on then. Ah, crap.
Have I been here? Oh, man. Okay. Read. Try the Critter Cleaver. Oh, Targris, Captain of the Biscuit. I know what you're thinking. I have too many lovable cats, dogs, pigs, birds, and pigs. Wait. Oh, pigs is on there twice. Like you, I once thought I could stay. I could take in stray pets, care for their needs, and shower each with equal affection. But we limited beings have only so much love to spread around. Unpleasant. Unfair. Unfortunate. That's why I took it upon myself to optimize affection and curtail my creature care. I bring you the Critter Cleaver. The cleaver is a handy, ethics-free apparatus yanked from a genuine egg with the indixite and restored to glorious functionality. Simply slide your favorite feline down one end and let the cleaver do its charm. The best is yet to come. See, the cleaver remembers. Stick a white bird in there. It remembers. Purple pig. It remembers. It even remembers your pigs. Pigs. I went with the pets, strengths, weaknesses, and favorite places to poop. Now, your furry friend isn't just going to slide out of the cleaver's business end. Same as it went inside. No, they come out different. Better. Sometimes. That's when it gets fun. Combinations! Want a bird to think like a pig? Want a cat to think like a different, better cat? The cleaver provides. You'd be doing me a favor of epic proportions if you gave the critter cleaver a whirl. Once folks see you're using it, everyone will want to turn. I've moved it to the far wall of the dark cupboard which is at Periki's Overlook in Nekataka. You can find the cleaver just due west of the wooden fella. P.S. I fixed the insert rex receptacle. Ha, <sighs> I was going to say rectangle. I fixed the insert receptacle so that it no longer accepts Orlins and gave it a good scrubbing. You are most welcome. Well, the name Cleaver, I really haven't gone to any of these places, have I? Holy crap, I'm going to have to do that at some point. I've been neglecting the rest of the island. Uh, Queen's Birth first? Yeah. You receive a letter bearing the seal of the Valiant Trading Company and Flown Elette's terrible handwriting. Uh-oh, they're going to be pissed at me about the slavers, aren't they? Flown Elette's crabbed handwriting makes much, m makes much of this missive difficult to read. Watcher, I hope this message finds you in good health. We have made our adjustments to the machine. Oh, oh, it's the late. Oh, no. The teleporting. Oh, God, I said I'd never do that again. Um, and maybe I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm here in Nekataka, so I might as well. But I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to. Am I moving? Are we moving? People? Oh. I turned off fast travel, not turned it on. I hit F and I thought, why am I moving so slowly? If I'm going to engage with the teleporters again, it's going to be the last thing I do here in Nekataka. Uh, click Welcome on? back, welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you once again. Tell me, how is the sailing? Smooth? Nothing to delay your expedition, I hope. How might I assist you? I've got material for your book. Wonderful. I can't wait to... Oh. Is that a little fish man you've drawn? Yes. I had already set the coin aside for you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Fantastic. 4,000? We are getting into deeper water now, so to speak. We call the islands along the east of Magran's Teeth the Burning Shoals. Uh-huh. As you might imagine, it gets a little hot over there. Two of the islands haven't been surveyed yet. You'll want to sail northeast from the docks to reach the islands. Okay, I can do that. I'll be waiting. In the future. Good! Keyleth got a level up. We're moving right along. Do I have... Do I have any bounties in this part of the city? Let me see here. Uh, Yeah, I didn't kill Rodul yet. Ugh, and I had to come back to... How... Dang it. Okay. All right. What about this you? Okay. I can return to outside the Valiant Trading Company headquarters. Okay. Yeah. She is just down here then. Where'd you go? That's not... That's not you, right? Ah, 
my little it is. privateer. You have news for me? Aina folds her arms and tips her head. I dealt with Vina. Perfecto. A pirate deserves no better send-off than a watery tomb. Aina passes you a hefty bag of coin. 23... Well, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad for the work involved, anyways. But you did not just come to deliver good news. You came for work, Ak? Sure. You've done well for the company. My last target is the Ziwa de Shah. Oh, and, and I saw him Kazuka, out there, too. Who we suspect of intimidating survey ships. Well, her lips pull back in a hate-filled sneer. Well, I do have... Ro... I do have that other dude. I, I've already forgotten what his name is. I already... I do have him out there. And I still have to leave the city to go exploring and doing things anyways. So I might as well fill up my time with the bounty. I am kind of mad that I missed that last one, though. If I had just killed him when I had the chance. All right. Who else? Is there anybody else around here? Rockstopper. I keep... Road Duel. Right. Uh, that's the one I just got. This fleet master in Brass Citadel. I'll leave that alone for now. Is that it? These two. Uh, Sacred Stairs and Serpent's Crown. All right. Cool. Fantastic. So we'll head over here. We'll go to the Brass Citadel real quick. I'm just going to turn in the bounty and then head to the Serpent's Crown. And because that's the important part we want to get to. And this is just going to eat up unnecessary time. So we'll just skip around this. You know, I completely forgot about Arkhamir there for a second. So I think what I'm going to do... Who was it that had the... Overlook Cuisine, I think? Uh, no, I don't think that was it. What was... What was the dark cupboard? Right, that's where the cleaver was. Um, everybody's closed up shop. What time of the day is it? That's... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, alright, I'll come over here. We'll deal with this. Dark cupboard. I want to save before I use that cleaver, just in case. Okay, uh, where did they say it was? In the back, right? Uh, I don't see it. Did I read it wrong? Maybe I need to talk to Fasina. Do you look for something in particular? Um, why not- oh! oh! Why not voyage with me for a change? Sighing, Fasina leans her weight on the countertop and surveys her surroundings. Madiko, I fought so hard to get here, but I won't miss a splinter of this place. Though she doesn't raise her voice, she pounds the countertop as if she had. Hey, Imp! I quit. For what it is worth, I have not enjoyed a moment of our time together. Huh? Make Master angry! Arkamir will grow a turnip in nasty Fasina's mouth! The imp looks ready to say more, but hesitates. Be safe. Many horrors out there. His tone softening, his eyes downcast. The imp gestures dismissively towards the door, offering no further elaboration. Agrasima, I think. Torres. Asina gives the imp a quizzical look. Okay. Wherever you're headed, it can't be worse than here. Smiling a little, she flashes you a casual salute. Oh! And she's not just any old person I can recruit. She's a sidekick. Uh, let's see. Wizard plus Chanter. Wizard plus Druid? Eh, I have two wizards already. Two straight-up wizards. I don't have a wizard Druid. I also don't have a wizard Chanter. Wizard Druid, I don't think... They get just as many limited number of spells. The only dis di difference is the shape-shifting. Still, a Wizard Chanter would be useful. Having a second... Well, I mean... It's, I'm not going to use her. I'm not going to use her. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Wizard Chanter, because I like the ability to summon things. 
And she'll just stay in the- Oh, and I got the recruiter thing! Yes! I didn't get penalized for missing out on the Beast of Winter person, dude, guy that was there. Uh, let's see. Salutations. Do you wish to hear your fortune? Yeah, no, I don't. I've heard everything I need to from you. you Where is... Where is that thing? Oh, it's this thing here in the center, right? All right, let me save again, since I now have Fasina. Okay. Drag pet to sacrifice. <laughs> Bonus is to be added. Look to be added. Well, you know... I really don't want to kill... Oh, I don't want to kill anything that I love. Uh, Cosmo the Space Pig. You know what? Let's do Frosty first. I doubt I'm going to use Frosty at all. Bonuses to be added. Plus one. It's a construct, right? It's a construct. Sacrifice pet. I feel so bad. I do. I feel awful. Drag... Okay, what is this? Pets available for creation. Drag in a pet sleeve. Name it. Drag in a pet for bonuses. Hmm. And it does cost me money. That sucks. Uh, so does that let me... Hmm. I really don't want to kill any of these guys. I love them all to death. Well, maybe not to death. That's, that's where I draw the line. Uh, Cosmo, plus one constitution. Hmm. Hmm. I need to experiment if I'm gonna... Uh, Cosmo, you're... I'm going to assume you're a spirit animal and not a cosmic living pig. Just for my own... Just for my own sanity. <laughs> okay, so how do I... How can I do this? If I drag a pet here and I drag this here, I can get a Cosmo with a plus one. Alright, so that's all it does... I can just make a skin of any animal I want and then add a bonus to it and give it whatever name I want. All right, so I'm not killing my pets for that. Let's leave and talk to Arkamir. We okay, yeah, he's right up here. Quench your thirst on the way up the mountain. Okay, in we go. All right, what do you got for me, Arkhamir? What is this going to lead us to? Uh. If you require directions to Bacana's observatory, look to your sextant. Hmm. Okay, Bacana. I found this old almanac in an orrery. Look familiar. You did, did you? That does rather defeat the purpose of absolution. Arkhamir tugs on his lower lip and scrutinizes you. So be it. Follow me down to the scrying pool. I mean, I went to the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I went down to the... I went to the observatory. Why am I... Where did you go? Art gallery, dining hall... Did he go downstairs? He... Might have gone downstairs. Okay, did you come down here? Scrying pool. Alchemy lab, forge, library, al animancy, mushroom, storage. Well, where'd you go? Ah, oh, boy. Alright, I'm gonna look for him down here, and if I don't find him, then I'm not going... I'm just going to look for him down here real quick. Oh, oh, the scry- is this the scrying pool? Yes! Alright, I re- okay, good, good. 
Didn't waste too much time here. Uh, we'll talk to him. Eyes are closed in deep concentration, his attention entirely focused on the glowing pool in front of him. Okay, let's, uh... I'm gonna save again. Well, you know what? I'm gonna F5. Doesn't It doesn't deserve a full save. Uh, skill points? Nah, we'll worry about that later. On it. Archimere gestures down at the scrying pool. You peer into the waters. Dark silhouettes to sit, arrayed in a circle. And the surface of the pool ripples in tune with muted voices carrying from below. Knock on the surface of the water, dip your face in the water, leave. Dip your face? Dip your face. No sooner does your skin break the surface tension than you feel a breeze of warm air. You are peering into a stone chamber, ringed with braziers and tapestries as you would an open window. Robed men and women clutch the armrests of their thrones. Water drips down your chin. The other arch magi seem, for the moment, unfazed by your presence. And Amawa folds her arms and stares down another woman who keeps her fists balled at her side. Ooze drips from the sleeves of the Am Amawa's robe and pools at the floor. You mistake the matter, Kalakoff. My curiosity and perusal are not endorsements of her research. Mara nods with an air of boredom. But Karna won't suddenly be vindicated by the likes of us having simply read her work. Something green and twisted wriggles under the table. Kalikoth points down and a flash of light incinerates it on the spot, filling the room with the stench of overcooked snails. A suppressed chuckle carries over the silence that follows. You're a, You're a slippery fiend, Mara. Some of us refuse to taint our reason with the half-wit conclusions of circle rejects. And keep the slugs to yourself. Kalikoth grits her teeth. Are you finished? The circle of arch magi. It's an honor. Clear your throat. Say nothing. Um. Say nothing? Say nothing? That will be enough out of you two. Archimere looms over your shoulder and dresses the rest of the room. Mara, your pests can wait outside. Archimere patient waits patiently as Mara makes a shooing gesture. A wet slurping sound echoes in the hall and something dark and large makes its way towards the exit. If we're ready to speak rationally, our patience is about to be rewarded. He strokes his beard and sighs, inviting you to speak. I bring you... Well, first I could say. I bid greetings to the circle. I bring you Burkarna's research. Where exactly are we? Or say nothing. I'll say the research thing. Some of us may welcome it more than others. M oh. Well, I, I mean, it, I guess it does make sense that the names would be named after Archmages. I just thought that they were like old, very old, ancient spell names. Like, these people have been dead for centuries, but all right, whatever. Minaletta flicks a spark in Kalikoth's direction. Archimere, you've had eyes on the dead fire for some time. Is this gathering necessary? Lingreth coughs into her palm, producing a cloud of smoke that blurs the air around her. Did you not ask me the same question last week? Archimere grimaces across the table. <sighs> that was an acolyte of Lengrath. The real one sits before you at present. But one is as good as another. She smiles, shrugging. Ninengoth massages his brow with both hands. This posturing is without value or reason. Get on with it, old man. He beckons to Archimir. I was about to do exactly that. The archmage nods and clears his throat, elbowing you out of the way so that his face commands the scrying pool. Bakarna was no archmage, but we all agree that she was on the cusp of a breakthrough before her. Unfortunate disappearance. Archimere takes the book from you and licks his finger as he begins to turn pages. Why did you never officially recognize her and the circle failed her? Say nothing. Why did you never officially recognize her? Her studies had no merit. 
They yielded nothing of interest nor relevance until today. Arcomia raises an eyebrow. Be that as it may, someone did not wish for this breakthrough to occur. For that alone, we must have good reason to seek knowledge of her amateurish, if enthusiastic, research. Arkhamir's eyebrows form a steep triangle as he arrives at the page of mathematical figures and coordinates. She discovered her, a river of soul essence flowing through the dead fire. Insight? Insight. Someone? Have a culprit in mind, do you? I'll do that one. When several gazes turn to you and several mouths open to speak up, Arkhamir silences them all in turn with a loud clearing of his throat. It would seem she arrived at one of our conclusions. Our river of soul energy flows through the dead fire, he nods. And yet, she traced the path of the river, while we only speculated on its existence. Arkhamir pulls on his beard and squints down at the almanac. Where does it go? Arkhamir sets the book aside and pulls out a vellum map of the dead fire. He traces his finger from the shallows of the Great Reef northward. Where it goes is not my immediate concern. I am occupied by who presently follows it. The path of Aeothis is winding, but unerringly intentional. His finger begins to stray east. He pauses to open ocean, his brow furrowed. Could that be... Yeah, the legendary island of Ukaizo. Tane leads forward, trailing off as he cranes his neck for a glance at the parchment. I think we've taken more than our share of the Watcher's time. Unless there are any final questions? Unblinking, Arkhamir lifts his brow and waits, your dismissal hovering on his tongue. Wait, I don't get to hear the rest? Why was Consul Hot so interested in this? Can I join the circle? <laughs> Can I join the circle? Aethys is going to Ukaizo. You're holding something back. What is it? Or leave. Why was Consul Hot so interested in this? Are you keeping secrets from us, old man? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Minaletta rests her chin on her fist and fixes Archimere with a severe glare. It wasn't of immediate per pertinence. Besides, Consul Hot has been dispatched yet again, esteemed mistress of missiles. Arkhamir favors Minaletta with a stiff bow. Hmm. Your flattery has gone stale. To address the Watcher, I imagine that Consul Hot wished to sustain his wicked existence on a font of essence. But you kindly put a stop to that. Minaletta nods, favoring you with a smile that she denied Arkhamir. Uh, Aethys is going to Okaizo. The total silence after your statement is as jarring as the echo of a gunshot. He's going to stop the wheel. When several gazes turn to you and several mouths open to speak up, Arkhamir silences them all in turn with a loud clearing of his throat. Interesting. It's an ambitious plan, I'll give you that. And what do you plan to do about it? He shrugs, thoughtfully. Nothing. I'll consider it when we have time. Uh, huh. You're holding something back. What is it? Arkhamir no takes in the other members of the circle. Their responses are myriad. Some shake their heads, others shrug, and others still lean back in their chairs and wait to see how it plays out. Better that I remain silent on that matter. If we wished to invite you into our confidence, you would surely know of it. Fine. I don't get to hear the rest? That's probably. Are you a member of the Circle? I hope you don't think we would divulge our secrets to a mere mercenary. Arkhamir's gaze hardens, and a self-congratulatory smile cleaves his face. You are not entitled to everything I own, Burglar. Fine. Huh. Leave. Well, maybe they'll let me join the Circle. I don't want to, but... You! You would ask this after robbing my manor, showed you the decency to spare your life. Arkhamir turns to you, his expression pale and affronted. Around the table of Archmagi, someone chokes on a sip of wine. Absolutely not! 
Will there be anything further? Arkomir waves his hand, the matter closed. Yeah, sure, nothing further. Whatever. Here, baubles for your service. Not that you deserve them. Consider your debt repaid with interest. Arkomir turns back to the circle and pointedly ignores you. Illuminating discoveries. What is that? Come on. Ah! Why can't I right-click to open it? Only usable by a wizard. I guess that doesn't matter. And 5,000 copper! Wow! He paid better for that than any of the bounties I've gotten so far. Dazzling lights, wizard's double, curse of blackened sight, repulsive visage, ascent to... Wow, Archimere's got a lot of spells from other people on here. Brilliant departure? Oh, maybe I want... May oh, man, I'm giving that to Gilmore. Okay. All right. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm going to call it here. I wanted to get to the Serpent's Crown, but we've already taken up... A this whole conversation took up far more time than I thought it would. So, next episode, we'll talk to the Queen, and then hopefully begin the third and hopefully not final... DLC. So until next episode, everyone, thank you for joining me. Stay safe and God bless you.